Hi, my Yarny friends. My name is Crystal, and I'm on here today to share with you a yarn haul I got. A Black Friday Willow Yarns slash Hershner's yarn haul. And I'm super excited. I've never used this yarn before. I've never touched it or seen it. Um, and I'm very, very excited because it was a great price. And I'm going to tell you why I chose this yarn. If you've noticed on my channel, I haven't been sharing yarn hauls. One, because I haven't been buying much yarn because... <laughs> Cause I have a lot. That's not even it. Oh, look at my mess. It's a mess. That's, that's real, real life right there. It, uh, I cleaned it up just to get it messy again. So, um, cause it's hard. It's hard when you don't feel well and you don't get to come be in this room and you want to, I want to be in this room <laughs> so bad. So, um, I'm going to share with you why I bought this yarn and what this yarn is for. It's not going to be super exciting because it's all the same type of yarn. There's no whole bunches of different kinds of yarn. I would like someday to maybe get a little bit of a varieties of yarn that I haven't tried. You know, like Premier has a lot of anti-pilling fun yarn that I haven't tried yet. But, so I'm going to get into why I chose this yarn. So I have this Pokemon book and I want to start using my, one, start using my Amigurami books. I did a crochet along last year and I really loved it and it made me love the book and I made nine items out of that book. And so I want to do more crochet book crochet alongs. <laughs> that sounds funny. And the reason why this one's important is because my middle son, Ryan, loves Pokemon. And when I told him, you know, um, I got a book, I'm going to make him some items out of the book, he's like, uh, how many can I pick? Because <laughs> he would want to catch them all. <laughs> but there's 20 and that's not going to happen. So I wanted to get anti-pilling yarn because these will be for looks not for play and I want I really like anti-pilling yarn I, I like it that it doesn't ball up even though if you're not playing with it it doesn't ball up but I just really like anti-pilling yarn and I want to get into using that more frequently and so I wanted an anti-pilling yarn to make the patterns out of this book and I had been looking into different anti-pilling yarns I do have every color of Lion Brand anti-pilling um, the basic stitch anti-pilling yarn but it really didn't have Lion Brand doesn't have as vast as color of colorway as um, some do and I don't remember how many colors they have but they didn't have like the Pikachu yellow or anything that I needed um, I do have Big Twist Living. It's an anti-pilling yarn. I only have a few colors in this, but they have a very, very small um, colors. They don't have that many at all. And so I was looking into We Crochet. They have an anti-pilling um, called Brava Worsted, I believe. And then um, I was looking into Premier. Um, their um, hold on just a second. Sorry about that. So I looked, I was looking into Premier, anti, their anti-pilling, um, I just don't know. I think it's called anti-pilling yarn. <laughs> uh, darn it. I can't remember. Is it the name of their anti-pilling yarn? Shoot. So I was looking into that one and um, I was also looking to Willow Yarns. They have a one called Wash. And um, I am a thrifty shopper. I want to get the best bang for my buck. And that's how I got into the Lion Brand Basic Stitch because at Joann's, you can get it for, I think the cheapest I've got it is like $2.25. $2.25 if you, you know, really look for their, if when it goes on sales and then they give you 20% off, free shipping. So that's how I got all of these. Um, because you want to get this at the best price you can because they are smaller than, well, I don't 
don't have one by me, but you know, like a normal stain of yarn. I just made a mess. They are bigger than that. And so, um, darn it, I should grab one. Hold on. Alrighty. So I was getting myself confused. So these skeins of yarn, you get a lot more yards for, you know, you can find something like this for $3.30. And this is 200 grams and 355 yards, where the anti-pilling yarns are only 100 grams and 185 yards. So I tried to get the anti-pilling as cheap as I can to get it close to this price point as I can. And so um, Premier, their anti-pilling yarn, I just don't ever find a great price on it. At Hirschner's, you can find it, it's $4. And then I think on rare occasions, you can get 20% off, right? So then that would be $3.20 a skein. So, um, you know, I'm a number cruncher and that just wasn't cheap enough for me considering I can get this for $2.25 cheaper. That, you know, that's a whole, that's a dollar difference. And I needed for, I bought 41 skeins of yarn and you know, a dollar difference, that's $41. Um, so I just couldn't do that. That's if that's true and I could get it that cheap. So, but I found during Black Friday and I saw it last year, so that's why I was looking for it, that the Willow Yarn, which is a Hirschner sister company. So if you buy Willow Yarns, you're going to get emails from Hirschners that Hirschners has got your order, received your order, and they are the ones mailing it out and everything. So they had their wash. It's called wash, their anti-pilling yarn, for $2 a skein. So if I need 41 um, skeins of yarn, I paid... $82, but after taxes, I paid $86. If I would have got the Premier, their anti-pilling on sale, let's say if I just got lucky and got it for $3.20 a skein, that's $131. So that's almost a $50, I would have paid $50 more just to get Premier, and it's the same type of yarn. So I just couldn't do that. So I'm really, really excited to see this. Um, the the wash, the willow wash has 55 colors where the premier had, um, has 67 colors, but I think 55 is a lot. So, um, there are nine amigurami in this book that I bought, um, yarn for. I bought yarn for Gingar. This is one that my son, one of the three that he requested, I got yarn for now I don't I didn't go exactly off the colors in this book I did look at pictures because they were a little bit different in the pictures than in this book because I'm sure she used what yarn she could use and I got something close to the pictures that I found on the internet I want this jigglypuff will be for me so we'll see how happy I am with these colors that I bought I bought yarn for, I tabbed them. <laughs> this is the one my son requested, Snorlax. So I got yarn for that. I got yarn for Charmander. Now, he did not request this one, but I know that he likes Charmander. And um, Charizard is a different, uh, the lower version of it, and that's one that he requested. Now, I just want to do, eventually, Meowth, because you have to have a bad guy. So, he will get Meowth, even though he didn't request it. Um, what is Pokemon without Pikachu, right? So, I wanted yarn for Pikachu. I wanted yarn for... Squirtle and I wanted yarn for Bulbasaur even though that wasn't the three he chose he chose Gengar Snorlax and then this last one Char Charizard so 
so Charizard. So those are the three that he requested, and I want Jigglypuff, and then um, maybe Squirtle or Bulbasaur. I'm not sure which ones are Pikachu. I'm not quite sure which ones. Um, I am debating on whether I should do this crochet along. I'm thinking that I'm going to do it in March. Um, I was going to do it First, I was debating January, and then I thought, you know what, January, I just need to catch up on things. My top priority is going to be my um, Squares of Love cardigan. I just haven't got to finish it with the Yarn Fairy, then the Thanksgiving, and I flare all the time, and now it's Christmas, and I, you know, I had Christmas things I wanted to make, and so... I think January is going to just be for me trying to catch up on things and maybe I'll still make one of these just to let you know how the book is. Um, and then I thought, well, okay, I'll just do it February. Well, I actually get to finally go see my mom in February. I haven't seen her in over a year and it's been heartbreaking and, um, but that's a different story. So I'll go into, I got a visitor. I got a visitor in February and in February, it'll be like a year and three months. And you know, my mom had breast cancer last year. She's still not great. That's why she couldn't come to visit me and I couldn't go visit her. So, Okay. I've jabbered, I don't know how long, I don't know, 10 months, and you're like, get to the yard hole! <laughs> so, this right here is my box. It is a big, big box. It, I'm going to use my box cutter that my friend Shannon, hi Shannon, she gave me, but I'll be super duper careful. And let's see what I think about this yarn. Because, you know, I'm just hoping that I like it. So, I got 41 skeins. I hope I like it. <laughs> but, I do believe my... My thought is it's going to be a lot like the other anti-pilling. It'll be a small worsted weight and it'll be shiny. Um, I kind of read the reviews and they that's what people are saying. So let's see. Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> it is exactly like um, Lion Brand Basic Stitch. It's shiny. It's exactly, um, I mean, when you first look at it, hmm, actually, Lion Brand is thicker. When you hold them up together, the Lion Brand is actually um, thicker than the wash. The wash, I would say, is more of a DK. Yeah, it's smaller than, um, it says it's 100 grams and 169 yards, where, ha, huh, this is 100 grams and 185 yards, so this has more yards than this, but this doesn't feel as sturdy, it seems thinner. I'm surprised, I would have thought this one would have had more yards. I'm really surprised by that. I have to say that the Lion Brand Basic Stitch feels like a, 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 a better quality of yarn. A real, uh, it's a lot nicer. It's just, it's a really, really nice looking yarn that the Lion, this is yellowish Lion Brand. Um, this feels crazy soft. It feels soft. It's shiny. Um, but Lion Brand is softer. It's just, I don't know how to explain it. I really like, I love Lion Brand. Um, the Big Twist is very soft, but Lion Brand still seems like a higher quality yarn. So I'm really curious now what, um, premieres feels like because I don't have any. Hmm. That would be interesting. 
So Lion Brand, still my number one favorite. I'm really glad that I got all the colors needed to make them. This purple, I'm thinking I got for Gingar, and it's way more purpley than I thought it was gonna be. I don't think I got it for any other one. Unless I looked up Gingar and he looked more purple than what she used. Yep, this purple is for Gingar, and I don't have my phone in here. I'm gonna, hold on a second. Okay, I'm back. So, yes, she used this very, very dark um, purple. It's like a wine, dark wine, kind of wine. I don't know. But if you look on pictures on your phone for Gingar images, he's more purpley. Purples don't show up on this on video. I don't know why. But this seems more to Gingar. Did I say his name right? Yep. Then, so I am happy. That's why I did get this color. I got myself confused. Her, this purple isn't the right purple. So, um, I don't know. This colorway is called... Oh my goodness gracious, Alive. That's not the name of it, though. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I, d I just don't even know. H-Y-A-C-I-N-T-H. Hananchik. I have no idea. Why would they name it that? Hyansinith. Hyansinith? <laughs> I don't know. So, I don't we'll find out how many of those I got. What a hard name. So, you, I did get actually two purples. I wonder if I just didn't know which purple cuz this one looks more like the purpley she used. And I could have been confused. This one's called Vineyard Vineyard and I did get two of these and I got two of these. I just must not have got to them yet. Oh no, I got happy. It doesn't show I got three. Oh, this is even a different color purple. I bet you 10 bucks I was like, which purples should I use? Because I got three different purples. And it looks like Gingar is the only one purples needed. Well, phooey. That, yep. Gingar is the only one that needs purple. I'm going to have to turn the heat off. Hold on. I'm having a hot flash. Hold on. Okay. Sorry about that. So I got two of each of the purples because I didn't know um, which purple I was going to use. And, uh, you know, it's purple. It's my favorite color. So I'm not heartbroken. Um, <laughs> this purple, like I took out this one first. This one seems nicer. Isn't that amazing how different they are? Look at this one's way more shiny than that one. And here's a lighter one, and that one's very, very shiny. So um, I really like that one. That one's really nice. I like the feel of this one better than these shinier ones. But um, Okay, so the next color... Now this color right here, it is called Pumpkin Pie, and I got, they all didn't fit on this right page. I got four of those. I don't see them all, but I'm sure this is going to be for Charizard. That's what I'm thinking. This one, Charizard, is a lot darker than this orange that I got, but let me look at Charizard real quick. You know what? I might stick up pictures, and I'll hold this up right here, and if I find a picture, I'll put it right there, and I got four of these, and this will be for Charizard. Hopefully, I did that long enough so you guys can can see it or do I put it next to it maybe like that I don't know we'll see in editing 
And then I got this colorway, and it is called Polished Wood. And I think I got three of these. Now this, I believe, would be for Meowth. Right here, I'd use for Meowth. And then, oh, Pikachu, Pikachu, wow, this is a bright, 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 bright yellow. Ugh. But I guess, you know, Pikachu is pretty bright, huh? What do you think? This is a very, very bright yellow. Hmm, Pikachu's going to be pretty, pretty bright. I wouldn't say it's a neon, but it is, it's very bright, and it is called Sunshine. Aw, it does look like sunshine. It is very bright. <laughs> but again, I have to be like, okay, it doesn't have to be exact. Then I got this colorway right here. It doesn't show up true to color. Um, this is called turquoise, and this I think I got for Squirtle or Bulbasaur. No, I, yeah, it must be for Bulbasaur, I'm thinking. So, I can't wait to look at the, the pictures and see, because I found it didn't really, the, the colors she used didn't really match up great with the colors that they really, really are. Um... I got a green, and I don't know if that's for Bulbasaur or not. Hmm. I got one. This is a gray, and it's called Silver. And since I have nine of them, that's a lot of them to try to show you guys what I got the gray part for. I'd be flipping through everything. Somebody must have needed some gray. <laughs> I got a black and let's see if they call it. They call it night. Ooh, that's a fancy one. Very pretty. It is soft, but Lion Brand's my favorite. I got a cream and this one, they both look, one. this one's cream and this one is called Snow. I was going to say the snow doesn't look white, white. This looks like a dark cream. This looks like a white, a light cream. And if they don't have a white and I need a true, true white, then I will, I will mix either, um, I'll mix it with my Lion Brand Basic Stitch. Then a next color I got is called Aruba Blue. And I don't know if I just have three of these. Aruba Blue. That's either going to be for a Bulbasaur or a Squirtle. I'm not sure. Squirtle seems more blue blue. I don't know if the Aqua is for that. I'll have to look these up and see. I wonder what I got for Snorlax. I wonder if he's, this is Snorlax. Because the Snorlax in this book looks like a really dark turquoise. So this could be a Snorlaxy color. I can't wait to start these. So does any of you think you'll start this with me? I wonder if I've already got this one. Let's see. This one is Polished Wood. And, yep, I already showed you that one. Then I got this colorway right here. It's so pretty. It is called Peanut, and it looks like a peanutty color. Hmm. I got this. Ah! I pulled out some yarn from some, a green one. This color, wait, right here. And it is called Fallen Tree. 
They have some really, really pretty colors. I wonder if this is for Meowth, too. Hmm. I got this green. Let me fix this. This is a light green, and it is called Minty. A very, very appropriate name, Minty. Here's another bright yellow. Oh, I got four of the sunshines because I think I want Pikachu when I want my son to have a Pikachu for his collection. Let me grab a few. I got three. Oh, I think, did I show you this pink? I didn't. This is the pink I chose for, um for Jigglypuff. I can't wait to make Jigglypuff. It's called Little Flower. And i um, got three, and then I find out my daughter-in-law loves Jigglypuff too. Hopefully it only takes one and a half. I don't know. It'll. It's going to be interesting to see how much yarn, how big these come out. I got this color called Azalea. Very, very pretty. I got, I already showed you these two guys. I got um, this color I haven't showed you. It's called Island Blue. It's more like a turquoise -y blue, I would say. Well, the other one, or Aqua Blue. I get confused. One turquoise and aqua they're um one's more of a green and one's more of a blue this has more green to it the turquoise they have is more of a blue and then i got another this is a this color is called celestial so and this is a blue so i have oh, i'm so sorry Okay, I turned my phone on airplane, I mean my iPad, but then I went and grabbed my phone and I didn't turn that off. Okay, so I have all different colors of blues and turquoises. Like look at these three different colors. Yep, I got three different colors of that and the blue and the blues. And then the purples and then just two different pinks. So I'm pretty excited. I got two different greens. Um pretty excited about this haul and and starting this this in I think I landed in March. I think March. Darn it, I didn't want to wait that long. We will see. Um, but this will give you guys time to prep. If you guys want to do this book with me, I think it'll be a lot of fun. Um, I will link it in the description box. I have zero affiliations, so I'll link it in Amazon. But if you can find it cheaper on A books or wherever, you know, I always Google search books just in case I can find one maybe used. Um, this is a newer book. I don't have the, the second Pokemon book yet. I do some of the washes I like better than the other ones. Um, I do like it. I am excited that it's anti-pilling. I don't mind the shinier um, aspect of it because even the Lion brand is a shinier um, anti-pilling yarn just typically is for two dollars a skein you can't beat it I mean it's some it's beautiful yarn and even with Lion brand some of the colorways look better than other colorways like some of these are just so pretty just gorgeous like just beautiful beautiful yarns it was just probably I picked up you know like this one even though purple is my favorite color it doesn't look good as like as this one I don't know how to explain it but 
this is the Lion Bran. It's just still different. So I can't wait, but it, this is still going to make some beautiful amigurumi. I'm excited. It's nice to work with softer yarn. It's exciting that it's anti-pilling yarn. And um, so, yay! That's my yarn haul. Hope that it was kind of, I have had to splice this thing together a thousand times. I'm so sorry. I hope you're still with me. Um, this Santa hat, I made it last year. If I can find the pattern, I will link it in the description box below because I have no clue. I don't remember what it was. <laughs> but I needed a hat and I thought, hey, it's December. <laughs> I'm so excited to be on here again. To me, this probably won't come out until the 7th, even though I'm filming it. It's the 6th. Um, but it's late at night and I have to do a lot of editing. So, um, but I vlogged yesterday and I vlogged today, even though they won't be coming out, um, back to back. But I'm excited that my body allowed me to do that because I have other vlogs. I actually had this set up right here to do this one vlog I had an idea for and it was set up for like three, four weeks and I never got to do it. But maybe I'll, I'll try it again. <laughs> shall see. I love you guys so much. I so enjoy sharing yarny goodness with you and these books with you and hopefully you guys whenever I decide to do the crochet along let me know your opinion. What do you think about March doing this crochet along in March? Um, I was kind of hoping to do it sooner because my son's birthday is in April and this was actually going these are going to be his Christmas and birthday gift so it's hoping to get him by April but you know I gotta do what's best for me and I just I think March will be better hmm unless I miraculously get the squares of love cardigan done before January then I would do it in January but I'm so behind I'm so behind and who knows when I'm gonna flare really bad again but Anywho, I'm jibber-jabbering. I miss you guys. I love talking to you. <laughs> um, let me know, did you guys buy any Black Friday yarn deals? This is the only one I did. I'm really excited to get them for $2 a skein. Um, let me know what you got. I really wanted, like, Premiere. They had their their sweet rolls or their rolls on sale oh i was chomping at the bit to get some of that because i really wanted some of those fruit yarns but i didn't i was good i was good i'm trying to only buy yarn that i'm going to use for that i have a purpose for that i want to use soon this won't be as soon as i wanted i really wanted to do january and that's what i was thinking and then i'm debating that and um I don't know if I can wait till March. Anywho, let me know what you got, if you got anything, or what you're working on. And um, I will talk to you guys later. I love you guys. Bye.